Well, how's it going, everybody? Big Time Dom here. And, hell, this computer's at 50%. But anyhow, um, since I've made that video before, let's fix this fucking camera. Since I made this video before about me having autism, I kind of want to take a look at a guy who has autism himself on YouTube and is pretty much, I mean, he can care less, kind of like me in a way, but is pretty much one of the most controversial, uh, critically critical YouTubers ever. And even his name himself, as people said, is pretty much saying that he's the worst reviewer. He's the worst critic. He's the worst YouTuber. Like, it's been through, and it's been through just people that are just not known in the pop culture. And it's basically not something like creepy reading or other people well known than that that literally criticize YouTubers. No, it's just a bunch of people who literally you could care less about. So, literally, in my eyes, just ignore them. But for me, and if you can ignore the sounds over there, it's the boiler just, you know, heating up the place because it's freezing outside. We're going to be talking about the mysterious Mr. Enter. And, man, mysterious Mr. Enter. The first time I saw him was an animated atrocities review on The Splinter of Spongebob, which, again, was, I think, his first animated atrocities, which originally was called... I think it was called Infamous Animations originally, but I wasn't there when he originally first started YouTube. But he did call them animated atrocities by the time he switched. And I think that was during when he did one of the Powerpuff Girl episodes where they went to a different town. I think it was like Town and Out, I think it was called. Hard for me to remember because I'm not a Powerpuff Girl fan. But I do understand him being a very critical person and yet I think me and him have very different thoughts. So I'm just going to go through the negatives besides of, of Mysterious Mr. Intern, but I'm also going to go through his positive sides. But I want to go through his positive sides first, then I can go through his negatives. And this is me trying to be in my honest thought. And even if he can hear me on this network, I hope he can understand, you know, this could help him in life, at least. I'm, I'm more or less a positive man, and there are times, yeah, I could be a critic myself sometimes. But... My critical way of understanding things is way different than his. So, let's talk about the mysterious Mr. Entern. Or, as many people call him, Mr. Entern. First of all, his ideas are not that bad of Admiral Animations being positive animation reviews. He, start, he stopped doing that after he took a look of, I think it was one of the Pixar movies. I actually, I actually forgot the name of it. I think... I, I actually forgot the name of it, but it... Soul. That was the name. Thank God I remembered it. It was called Soul. And I heard it had so much critical praise because it was really that beautiful. Animation was beautiful and the story was beautiful and the ending was pretty much one of the kind of like happy endings that everybody would love. And the fact that Soul gave him that positive uh, comeback made it seem good. I've, I've looked at many of his animated atrocities where he had an un un incredible rage to these to these. Here, some of them may be necessary, but others completely unnecessary. And I think his ideas like animated atrocities, admiral animations, and even the ones that he was criticized about, Nicarama, I think were pretty good. The problem is, is that season two Nicarama didn't last long, didn't have many episodes as season one's uh, Nicarama. And let's face it, this is him talking about the actual things in this in the shows and giving him his opinions like what criticisms are you trying to pull here on saying that it's his opinions of him trying to like watch these shows and either he likes them or he hates them if you don't like his opinions then you don't say a fucking word okay you don't have to even look at his videos it's very easy that's the same i say about my videos you don't like my videos don't criticize them don't even comment I hate comments, you know, just, just, just remain silent and leave it alone, you know, I'm not bothering anybody, you know. Entern is kind of like that. I did enjoy his Nicarama series because it did give me honest opinions on most of the shows, even spinoffs and horrible shows from old creators like Butch Harmon's Bunsen is a Beast, which I never, 
ever want to see in my lifetime. And, and if any of you guys are going to be telling me to watch some episodes and then give me your opinions on them, trust me, if I ever do a Nickelodeon series, maybe, just maybe, I might. But I do not want to. For, for the life of me. It's for my sanity, but also for my mental capabilities, and for my undying hatred of Butch Hartman. Ever since I talked about him on my, you know, I Have Autism 2 video, and even his stupid, bizarre wife. They're both bizarre and stupid, but literally his wife, good lord. But Intern is uh, very special for me. I think he's special. It's just, this is where I'm going to get to his negatives later on, but let's talk more about his positives. Mostly down to him, he actually gives very fair reviews on them. Kind of the same what I do with Horror Vision and many of the other stuff I talk about and even stuff today, especially me talking about positive things on other things. I talk about positive things on other things, even movies and TV shows, but I'm not much of a critic on those as much as I am as he is. He does bring a very good positive reaction and even brings his honest opinions on the matter in his way. I think his way is pretty much trying to tell you, like, what do you think? You know, I mean, you don't have to share his opinions. That's that's what makes us so unique as human beings and even uh, a very great species is pretty much we have our own collective thoughts, our collective opinions on the certain matter. The problem is, is that some of these people don't even want to shut up about their their opinions, which is the problem. Us, it's a, it's a completely different story, but when you have celebrities and comedians talking about a political subject, quite literally, we just don't care what they think. Literally, I would state it straight to every single one of them. I don't care what you say. I don't care what you think. Just leave me alone. I just want to go on with my business. That's, uh, that's kind of like what I think of the matter. The other thing, too, is how he tries to remain positive on a person's death, which I've done in the past before with Stephen Hillenburg. As a matter of fact, I... I definitely do know that Stephen Hillenburg had done a passing. I even done George A. Romero, which, hands down, he was the godfather of zombies. He was, he was a legend. So, and another person, which you know, in my in my family has passed. I, I I see him in the light of how he he can he can understand you know the ideas of a dead man. Even when he did his, I think his worst cartoons of the 90s list and he did the wacky world of tech savory he did uh take a look at well tech savory tech savory which was a very well-known animator who invented daffy duck porky pig and bugs bunny from the looney tunes and the fact that there was an animated series that had nothing to do with tech savory and had nothing to do with the tech savory style skits whatsoever literally basically di like pretty much disrespecting a dead man at this point is very insulting just like camp coral for spongebob it's very insulting even the patrick star show very very insulting it's very insulting it's it's cruel that's the same with rugrats with the other spinoffs all grown up i was okay with but susie and J angelica's preschool days oh god when i first looked at that picture of the of of what they look like i knew it was gonna suck and it sucked and then what it only had four episodes hard for me to remember because uh i don't really want to be associated with that and of course he did talk about the adventures of kid danger i've already talked about how bad henry danger is and for the fact that it should never existed and neither should that animated series that animated series was stupid end of story so i do think that his opinions are very fair are there times I think his opinions are very unfair? Yes. There are times I have thought, okay, he can he can go a little too far. And I think it's just down to how angry an autistic person gets. I think this is my mind with an autistic person is that when they're angry, they pretty much say crazy nonsense that literally not even the human can understand. Not like, like, you know, a regular person that doesn't have this disability would understand. We would say crazy stuff. We say stuff that, you know, would piss us off. And we just have no... People are like, what are you talking about? So I quite clearly can understand the judgment that, you know, many people would not understand and turn pretty much. There are times he does make his own scripts. 
but there are times he's reading off the script, probably because he just cannot stand what he's reviewing. There are times there are some shows that he has, which is his childhood. There are some that are even my childhood, and I can understand his frustrations on the matter. And I do respect that part. And uh, even his name is not that bad. The Mysterious Mr. Enter. I kind of like that type of, like, idea, you know? The Mysterious Mr. Enter. It sounds very, very interesting. And I kind of like that type of style. He does talk about, like, you know, drawing characters, animating characters, and even trying to be at least a decent person in life. But now I gotta go to his negatives, and this is nothing to insult Mr. Intern, as many of the other YouTubers in the world that literally are harassing him on the internet. And if you're harassing him on the internet, shame on you for that. You should know better as a human being. You should know better as an actual fucking person. So, let's talk about the negatives about the mysterious Mr. Intern. The negatives, I think, is down to... This one gets to me, and this is mostly to me because I usually show my face on the camera. If there's times where I don't show my face on the camera, it's either if I'm showing you clips of the series, mostly like with my Horror Vision episodes, or vice versa. Let's actually start with the fact that he's not well-dressed. That's one thing. For me, I wear any shirt I please. You know, it doesn't bother me. But I usually have a sweater, a hat, and my bracelet of the Deathless. I did get this out of a cave somewhere. It was pretty. I just like it. And then somehow, I get these strange visions. But I don't want to talk about them, because we're talking about Entern. Entern himself, I, I, like, here's the thing here. Like, for me, I try to trim my hair as much as I can here. And most of the time, it does grow back. It is one of the most annoying things for a man to go to, is basically having hair all over your body, and including the face, which is pretty much... The most important thing about being a human being is that if you're not clean shaven, you're not wearing a nice shirt on, the the kind of like response to other people will fall in line in that different type of sense, saying that you're you're filthy, you're you're dirty, you don't really clean yourself. Period. You you, you basically have your entire place filthy. At the same time, I'm not saying Entern is a very filthy person. I'm just saying that I think he needs to start cutting his hair a little bit. At least, at least, like, you know, trim the hair, trim the beard a little bit, because he already looks like, well, the old saying from Michonne from The Walking Dead, your face is losing the war. And that's kind of like me and Enter, you know? You and me, Enter, you know? Hair, you know? Our faces are losing the war, and we're just trying to, you know, win this war. And the war of basically just purely just idiotic things in the world. <laughs> which is kind of like that, but also try, a war of just trying to bring the positive side, pretty much. Uh, the other thing is how he gets very depressive sometimes, and I think that's just down to many of us as autistics. Some of us can be very depressed, and I think I don't want Entern to be depressed. I think I just want him to be happy, and I think he should be happy. He should be happy with the things he has. For me, I'm very happy myself. I'm always happy, but there are times... I can get a little bit peeved. And that's kind of like what you would expect with you criticizing a movie, a TV show that you either love or hate. You really do stretch that type of reason, pretty much. And that's kind of like what Entern does. It's just that most of the time it just gets very depressing for him, I think. And... I, I think he tries his damnedest, and I know he does. I, and so are the people that work with him. But that also goes down to the main problem. Now, for me, I edit by myself. I have, like, very much little editing studios on my computer. And Entern has, like, a very, I, I, I don't know, a small group, maybe, of people. I don't know how big a group of people he does with editing and, you know, finding reviews and stuff. But he does have a small amount, and... Most of the time, it doesn't look great, especially. I mean, in the beginning, it never looked great at all. I can I could kind of say that. But he has changed over the years, including his avatar has changed a lot. I did kind of like the shadowy coat figure, and then, and then when he transformed into the, like, one that we see today, it still looks nice. 
the most things I like about that picture movement style character, even though it's just a, a frame moving around, that's pretty much what YouTube does. There's not much, well, there are animators, but I don't think there is much animators in YouTube as they are in, you know, this world today, which is TV shows and movies. But Entrance movement is pretty nice. It conveys a lot of emotions, pretty much down to sickness, to, to scareness, to shock, to anger, and to rage, which I kind of like. I think the one thing that stipped that close to having his rage was either his top 10 worst SpongeBob episodes list or his review of Out of Jimmy's Head, which hands down I will never see in my entire life because it will upset me more than he did. And I think it drove him mental to seeing ducks. Other times he actually never used it. As a matter of fact, rarely he used that same like frame, pretty much. Like his uh, episode of Totally Sp his episode for Totally Spies, Totally Busted, which was a two-parter. And pr basically was on another YouTuber's list because literally everything gets deleted from Entrance Block because, you know, music and other cues and stuff. And for me, I could kind of agree with him with Totally Spies, but I don't think the show is really that terrible other than the stupid stereotypes and the same animators did modern mystery and i love modern mystery it's very mystique it's very creepy but by the time it hit season three it just got bad but i still love the music i loved everything about that show beginning to end danny phantom he has his criticisms about danny phantom that i can respect season three i think is where it started to go downhill a little bit but i didn't mind the ending Pretty much as he hated the ending. I didn't mind it. All the ghosts just trying to save this world. It was pretty good at least. You know. I think the problem is, is that Butch Harmon literally just has so many open freaking plot holes. He can't even think. You know. It's Butch Harmon we're talking about here. And I don't want to go too far. But if there's one thing. I know he's trying his damnedest. I think other times too. Which is kind of what many autistic people are is very much social development there are people who do harass him either in a very bizarre way that i do not want to talk about because we are on youtube and if we were on a different social media platform it would be different or it's basically just saying you know you're a freaking guy you should kill yourself you know duh, 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 which really literally i just ignore those types of people because they just are the the vultures of this of this platform very much and literally those are the type of people who should be removed from youtube entirely no new accounts no nothing never on youtube again that's how that's what i think and i pretty am sure that he does get his place clean he does i mean here's the thing he does state that he hates gross out other than just there's nothing left to talk about because it's just gross which literally it's gross is not funny for me. I just think it's disgusting for me. For me, I have anxieties. So there are times with anything gross or pretty much something that flares up the anxieties within me. My heart just goes, that's what it does. And it just drives me crazy. So I kind of feel, I know he has something called shock fatigue ever since he looked at gross out videos. And it happens to a lot of people. Yes. Not for me yet. Maybe because I'm very young. But I get his reason. And there are times I think he should really look forward to the future, despite us having to be worse. Even in the political side of things, he should at least look his way into the future. He said it to himself when he did his Cartoon Network review on animated atrocities in 2017. He did say, never say die. And that's kind of like what I love. I love that type of saying he did say. It kind of almost remind me of the wisdom of so many famous people. And I think that's one thing. For me, I think I'll give Entern this type of positivity that at least can go through. For the coronavirus, to the stupid politics, to Dickface, which I'll never say his name because thank God he's not in, he's not in presidency anymore. And I, I hope to God he still won't be for the next year. But... For the actual future of everything that is in this world, there is a light at the end of the tunnel. It may be far away, but you can see that light. If you didn't see that light, then you wouldn't be here as you are today, Ensign. I think for him, he's a very nice YouTuber. I don't think he's 
perfect, which is why I gave some of his negatives. But I think he can look upon this video and say, maybe it is time for me to change a little bit. That's what that's what would mean that would happen to me after Horror Vision three. Change is pretty much what we need in life, and uh, I, I I hope to see more in the future. You know, I mean, damn, I I, I really do feel happy at least. I really do. But I hope you're happy too, answer. I hope you're happy. I hope you're having a nice life, and continue to do good. You don't have to copy and paste anything from other people, other critics. But the old saying from Amazing World of Gumball, be your, own, be your own you. And I think that's what is good. As always, guys, I'll see you next time. Peace.